the reason we went to robots here at Hillcrest was for our next generation that's gonna run the farm. My daughter and my nephew, we were talking about building a new parlor and with that kind of investment, we were halfway to buying robots. So we decided to build a new facility, put robots in, and it also would be better on them and more challenging than the monotonous milking that we were doing before every eight hours. Now the cows go milk when they want to milk. So it's better on uh, my daughter and my nephew. It's better on our staff. It gives them flexibility to go watch their kids play a ball game and then come back and finish their chores because the cows are still milking. So I think it just really makes for a better work environment for the next generation coming on. The timeline for this, it took us a good two years in um, doing our due diligence, our going to visit other robot barns to see how they were managing their cows. It is a different way to manage cattle. It is a better way to manage your cows. It is more comfortable for the cows. They kind of just stay in the barn and do what they want to do every day. Um, they go to a brush when they want a massage and then they come to the robot when they want to milk and they go eat anytime 24 seven when they want to eat. So the cow sets her day and it allows us also to have flexibility as well as the cow. So all this stuff went into the process of learning or how we were gonna do this process. The technology with these robots are awesome. So now they can go to micromanaging the cow's day. They can look at all this data from the robot. They know her motion in three dimensions. They know um, what each individual quarter of that cow gave that day. It monitors um, the quality of the milk and it lets us know if there's a problem and it diverts it down the drain. Um, it cleans the cow better and it does it consistently. Every day, 24 hours a day, it's going to do the exact same thing. And you can take the best human in the world and you cannot be that repetitive. It was a concern would they give less milk when we went to robots. We were the top producing dairy in the state per cow at that time. And uh, with robots, it gives you the opportunity to manage when she's milking. So we may want to milk her less times as she gives less milk. We can adjust her permissions to come to the robot. So when she's given a lot of milk, we can actually milk them four or five times a day when they come to the robot, but they set the schedule, not us. Cows learn faster than people. Um, you know, within about three days, you can see individual cows going, wow, I'm gonna run, outrun you and go in this robot and get milk, they just love it. It takes about three weeks for staff to start understanding the process and, and it doesn't take so much outside guidance to keep us going from day to day. And you could really tell a difference at two months in, it was starting to get easier on us and we were starting to relax from the strain of making this transition. Did I second guess myself during this process? Sure, with me and Andy at our age, um, this is a huge investment and it's a long-term investment, but I think down the road um, with getting harder to find labor, I think it was a good investment in the labor that I had to challenge them, a good investment in the Gen 4s, our Generation 4s coming in to manage the business now. And my goal here is I want to be the guy that does some farm tours and people come in and go, hey, I'd like to see Georgia's first robotic dairy. They'll come in, I'll have a tram, we'll ride around the farm, I'll show them sustainable agriculture. I can show them the most technologically advanced dairy in the state of Georgia with the robotics and all we have here and all the work that goes into production of food here at Hillcrest. Yeah, it's really incredible to see those things in action. And you know, Mark gave us so much great material when we were there that we decided to go ahead and do a part two of the Hillcrest robots. That's coming up on next week's show. You will see Mark give us the ins and outs of the robots, what all they're doing at any given time. Really fascinating, and Mark does a great job explaining things in a way that even a non-dairy person will be able to comprehend. Again, that is coming up next week.